Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of Bengal. We just peaced out with Pegu and Ayutthaya, and also Manyang. From Manyang, we took a gold province. From Pegu and Ayutthaya, we took these coastal provinces, which is great. We're currently colonizing in the Philippines and South Africa. Once this one's done, we're going to be able to hit right here. And once we hit Wellendam, we can fabricate on Cape Colony, go to war with Spain, and take Cape Colony. That's all they want to do is take over Cape Colony. And most likely he'll give it to us. Although we might want to wait on that war for a time when he is busy in Europe. Although it looks like he's busy in Europe right now. I think a better time would be when the Protestant League War kicks off. Because France is on the Protestant side and Spain is on the Catholic side. That would be the perfect time to go to war. Because they'll be very busy fighting in Europe and they'll just ignore us. It looks like everyone is voting for Genoa. Look at that. Why is everyone voting for Genoa? I don't know, but they are. They don't want to vote for Austria anymore, so they're voting for Genoa. How old is the, the king? No, he's not that old. 32. So he might turn this around. If he was old, like 50 or 60, that would be amazing to see happen. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? We have Yarkand as a vassal, and I think the next thing the next thing on the agenda is to take some lands for our, our happy little vassal, Yarkand. That's going to involve wars with Bukhara, Afghanistan, and whoever the hell else he has cores on. This stuff. It's mostly just Bukhara. All right. What's my diplomat supposed to be doing right now? Mm. You know, I don't know. Oh, right, our truce is up with Bamanis. I should go eat him while I can. Although, we're way too overextended right now. Yeah, Chi's name is great. She... <laughs> the eye is just sticking out of the Q's forehead. That's so weird. All right, we finished our exploration of the Philippines. What's next? Explore the Philippines more. Why not? I wonder if I could ally Omen. I'm going to want a strong ally over here for assisting us against the Ottomans and Persia. Separately, of course. I don't want to fight the Ottomans and Persia at the same time, but separately. Wow, our manpower is up to 155k. I love it. All right, let me turn off core progress. This this outliner is getting too big. Core progress, turn that off. There we go. All right, you guys patrol Malacca. How are we doing on Malacca anyway? Uh, not too great. Not too great. Yeah, overextension knocks down our trade power by quite a lot. We're probably going to go trade idea group at some point. Claim on Chom. Very good. Let's get some more claims on Chom, shall we? What? He'll vassalize? Yeah, but once your province is negative 42. I mean, it says he'll vassalize, but once your province is negative 42, there's no way to overcome that, is there? I don't think so. I guess I can give it a shot. Just give them an alliance and see if that cancels out the wants your provinces bullshit. And if it does, then great. Otherwise, I think I'm going to focus on the Oirat. No, I don't, I don't see having Chom as a vassal as anything good. I mean, how much base tax are you? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's eight base tax total. That's like nothing. I'll probably just annex him. Alright, so... Oh, we finished the colony. Il Bourbon. Il Bourbon. Sweet. Delicious Bengali clay. Mmm. Okay, no problem. 
Rebels? Darn it. I thought having my soldiers there would prevent the rebels. I was wrong. Hang in there, bros. Hang in there, bros. Almost there. Damn it! Fuck! 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 I should have been paying attention to the rebel faction progress. I just lost 10,000 soldiers for no reason. Because I wasn't fully main I w didn't have them at full maintenance because I thought I thought I had enough troops spread out to lower the re revolt risk, but I wasn't paying attention to it. I definitely did not have enough troops spread out. Fuck me, man. Fuck. Well, I, I guess you just got to replace them. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's just really bad that I did that. It's really stupid of me, right? Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Build some more trade ships. Just pretend nothing happened. Really? I can't even... I can't even win against them? Alright, give it the end of the month, then. I'll give it another month. Whatever. Plague? Gross. That's disgusting. I look five years longer, younger, what happened? I shaved. Isn't that amazing? Ooh, Wake Island. Go away, Afghanistan. Just go away, dude. I'm so sick of this war. Sind, end your stupid war. What? What? Sean is fabricating claims on me. Are you He's a one province miner. He's a fucking vassal and he's fabricating claims on me? Are you kidding? Oh my god, you're not even kidding either. Oh, the war is over. The coalition war is over. All right, what's the peace deal? Holland will cede Holland to Utrecht. Magdeburg will cede Rapin to the Hansa. Bohemia will give Niederbayern to Nuremberg. Mainz will annul treaties with Trier. Mainz will release Silesia, Anhalt, and Anschbach as sovereign states. Silesia, Anhalt, wherever that is, and Anschbach. Anschbach's the purple one. Oh, there's Anhalt. Wow, Utrecht strunk. He had Austria helping him. I still don't know how he had Austria helping him in that war, because they're not allies. But it was probably something to do with the Protestant League, because uh, it was Mainz versus Utrecht. This guy versus this guy, and the leader got involved for some reason. Anyway. Cool. So Utrecht got stronger. Does he still have his coalition? Well, it's much smaller. He still has a coalition, but it's much smaller. Uh, he still has a decent heat map, though, so another coalition could trigger. We'll see. suffering attrition out here. Damn. I didn't realize we'd suffer attrition while we're just patrolling Malacca node, but I guess we do. Holy shit, he formed Tibet. He formed Tibet, and he still wants to vassalize. But he still has 42 wants your provinces. If he didn't have that, I could vassalize him, but he does have that. Novgorod is westernizing. Really? That's going to make things interesting, because he's already behind Muscovy and Tech. Ooh, okay. Portugal still doesn't have Korongoa. Reduce overextension. What a stupid mission. If you complete the mission to reduce overextension, you get access to a level 3 advisor, which you can't afford. What's the point of the mission, then? There is no point. It's a stupid mission. There's a lot of stupid missions. If you try to make, takes Gelray, that'll make one disgusting Netherlands. No, it'll make a sexy Netherlands. 
Gotta make a very sexy Netherlands. That's kind of like what the Netherlands looked like in my Netherlands campaign. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright. We're done with you now. Alright, Inhambane is done. Now we can core. Or not core. Now we can settle right next to Spain. Uh, do I want to walk down the coast? Uh, not really. I, I shouldn't need anyone there. What? I don't have the distance? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, troll. Oh, nope. There we go. There's the distance. Now we can do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we even have distance over here. I wonder if we could reach St. Helena. It's probably taken. If we can get St. Helena, I want it. I want to go dump an army in South America and go search for El Dorado. This battle's still going on? What the fuck? They don't even have a general. I don't know. Tougher battle than I expected. Ten stack is rebuilt. Very good. Oh, we discovered the new world. Oh, holy shit. We just discovered all of South America. What the fuck? Oh, did Portugal just find us? Did Portugal just find us? Spanish, Brazil, Portuguese, Colombia, and Portugal. That is so backwards. <laughs> look at the, look at how backwards this is. Instead of Portuguese Brazil, we have Spanish Brazil, and instead of Spanish South America, we have Portuguese South America. What? This is exactly backwards land. What happened? Why is it backwards? Okay, so did Portugal find us? Is that what happened? Is there a Portuguese navy over here? No. Is it because I'm colonizing next to Spain? Why did we just find South America and not any of the water between us? Why do we have vision on Eastern Siberia? What gave us that? And why do we have vision on this tile? I don't understand this. This makes no sense. But, okay. I mean, whatever. Independence Desire 41, 13, 21. Okay, I want to see, I want to see Spanish Brazil come out. I want to see them form Brazil. That'd be great. I want to see it happen. Nauru Island. Nice. What up, Nauru? Pasai just annexed Pagu. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you shitting me? Interesting. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Let's see. Patna, Varanasi, Tirhut, and Gorakhpur. Gorakhpur. Autonomy decreased, but that'll go away in 10 years. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. Alright, let's get up there and get ready for a revolt. Because there will be one. Mark my word, there will be a revolt. Coast of Gambia. All right, so we're starting to get some of these tiles discovered. Oh shit, 90%, huh? 90%, huh? Gorakhpur. Yep. Go on then. Go on then. Go on then.
Is that my entire army? That looks kind of wimpy. Is that 89,000 troops? Oh, no, no, that's right. We have some people in the colonies, too, of course. In the colonies. In the quaint colonies. In battle will resolve our differences. Someone actually got that reference on, on YouTube. Someone actually got it. Palmyra Island. Um, one of the many deceiving provinces where there is no land, even though it says Palmyra, there's no island there. There's nothing. It's lying to you. Wow, look at Ethiopia go. Look at him go. He might be a good ally. He's got good tech. Damn. Hmm, Ottomans still... Oh, right, I can... Alright, as soon as this war is over, I can... No, that's right, no more rivals. Damn! So for a little bit there, there was a glimmer of hope that we'd be able to set a rival, but gone. No more rival possible. Damn it! Grain Coast. Okay. Nice to know. So, Clemson, how's that westernization working out for you, bro? Looks great. You've lost half your land ever since you westernized. Congratulations. Man, is this thing ever going to kick off? Is this war ever going to Look how many nations are in this war. But they're not going to war. Go to war. Do it. Muscovy's eating the golden horde. I guess that's to be expected. Ah, oh, these fucking rebels. Spawn! There's a 10% chance every month and they just not spawn. Spawn! Okay, colonist arrived. Swelling Dom. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. And we gain colonial against Spain. Alright. What's really unfortunate is this is not Portugal. If this was Portugal, I could probably westernize right now. Because just being next to him... Oh, no, no, no. We have to finish the colony first. Right. When we finish the colony, he will see my capital. But it's not Portugal, so it doesn't count. So we're going to have to go find Portugal somewhere. Probably somewhere in the New World. Up here doesn't count. This stuff doesn't count because this stuff is trade companies. And you can't westernize off trade companies. The other option is we just declare war on Spain when he's busy. People are leaving Utrecht's coalition now. We declare war on Spain when he's busy, probably with the Protestant League War. Wow, what the fuck is Kiev doing in Hungary? What the hell is Kiev doing in Hungary? I don't know. Spawn! Spawn so I can go fight Afghanistan. Proof relations with Killa. What a shitty mission. Get out of here. Get out of here with that mission. Why aren't you spawning? Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I've, I've had enough of this bullshit. I got shit to do. You're not gonna spawn. You're gonna spawn. Make up your goddamn mind. I got shit to do. Now you spawn. Fuck off, you fucking rebels. I was standing here for like a year waiting for your dumbass to spawn. What is that mission? We have finished the waters of the Philippines. All right. Next exploration, please. Coast of Nippon, the waters of Jiren. Coast of Australia, the waters of Nippon. Coast of the Ivory Coast, waters of the Ivory Coast. Waters of Rio de la Plata, waters of Malaga. Waters of California, ooh. Go to the waters of California, just for shits and giggles. Why not? Why not?
And of course the rebels are having a piss. Fuck you, rebels. Oh my god. Oh, the Oirat took a bunch of land and they still want to be vassals. Perfect. Alright, step one, alliance. Step two. Apparently the Sultan is dead. Long live the Sultan. 244, not bad. And a 140 air. Uh, I'm not um I'm not digging that that 140 air. We're gonna have to kill your son. You know? It's probably not your son, huh? Or else you, you, you're not having kids when you're nine years old, right? It's gotta be your brother. We're gonna have to kill your brother. Or your nephew, or whoever the fuck it is. We're gonna have to kill Shams. Shams Ud Din Muhammad. He's gotta go. So, how do we go about killing a seven year old? We don't. There's no easy way to kill a seven year old, unfortunately. This isn't Crusader Kings. Hmm. I should probably get stability up as well, but we'll wait for overextension to pass. How long until the cores are in? Oh, they're almost done. Okay. Alright, right, you still want to vassalize? Of course you do. Did he not take my alliance? I clearly sent an alliance offer because my diplomat just came home. Did he, did he re refuse my alliance or what? Or is this just a broken event? It's a broken event. I sent him on the 8th. Okay, it's a broken event. Now, this has happened a couple times during, I think during my Tunis campaign, I had this happen two or three times, where I sent a diplomat and it didn't work. Nothing happened, there was no response. I don't understand it. Okay, or what alliance, there we go. Whatever, there's the marriage. I don't know. And here's the vassal. There we go. Great. So our vassals are now Yarkand and Oirat. Oirat has cores over there. Yarkand has cores over there. Bukhara is going to be a big target, isn't he? Alright, so why don't we go ahead and fight off Afghanidurp here. Hmm... We're gonna have some more rebel spawn for sure. Fo shizzle my nizzle. Let's head to Kashmir. And let's go to Lahore. And we'll get ready to fight this guy. I'm a little surprised Sindh hasn't pieced out of this war yet. I mean, his enthusiasm. Well, it's not low yet, that's true. But he, look at that, he has 11 war exhaustion. He should peace out by now. This is silly. This is just silly that the AI hasn't pieced out yet. 11 war exhaustion. All right, what are my diplomats even doing? Hmm. Well, go top off the Auto Turks. And I think Siberia wants an alliance. Now, is he going to be useful against Bukhara? No, because he's allied to Bukhara. Okay, well that's new. He wasn't allied to Bukhara a few minutes ago. Okay. Oh, France is supporting the independence of Portuguese colony Caribas. Really? Really? <laughs> Interesting, okay. Scotland has Nova Scotia, so Scotland's in Canada. England has the 13 colonies. France has French Canada. Spain has just Brazil. It's weird that Spain is so slow to the colony race this time. Like, what happened? Is he just focusing... I guess he's just focusing everything on Brazil. He's going to have a super colony, and the colony's going to revolt, and then he'll have nothing. He'll have nothing. 
whereas Portugal's going to the Caribbean, Colombia, and Argentina all at once. So Portugal's going everywhere. Scotland's going just Canada. England's going just uh, Eastern USA. It's weird. Very weird. And France is going Canada. So France and Scotland are going Canada. That's going to be a divided Canada. It's going to be fine. They're both allies, so the colonies cannot actually go to war with each other. That's fine. England has 13 colonies all to himself. And Spain is going to have a revolt, and there's nothing he can do about it. Yeah, Brazil's Brazil will be independent very quickly. All right, rebels. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. I'm going to have to deal with that. I really don't want to deal with that, but I got to deal with that. All right, what am, I, what am I diplomats gonna do here? What am I gonna do here? Hmm. I guess I could go eat Bamanis. I do need to eat Bamanis. That's gotta go. He's gotta go. The thing is, there's no real rush, is there? I'll fabricate on Dundar. That's a good one. Fabricate on Dundar. That's a good one. Bukhara wants an alliance. Well, that's not going to happen, my friend. No fucking way. Not with the vassals I have. We discovered Cape Verde. Okay. Let's go take a look at Cape Verde, Portugal's little colony here. Bohemia next to Thuringia. Interesting. Okay. And the HRE is now voting for France, Poland, and Norway. It's a three-way tie for France, Poland, and Norway to be the next emperor. Who wins in a three-way tie when none of them is the current emperor? Interesting. If the incumbent was if the incumbent had two votes and he was tied, then the incumbent would win. But since it's three newcomers, I don't know who gets decided. How is that decided? I'll admit, I want to see Poland as the emperor, because that sounds fun. Make Poland the emperor. Make it happen. Oh, no, I don't want 25 autonomy and Chandery. Where, where the fuck is Chandery? I gotta look. Why is there no go to button on this ship? There really should be. Chandery. Alright, where is this ship? Chandery. Ah. Really? It's two base tax. I'll let it have... I'll let it have some autonomy. It's just two base tax. God damn it. The reason I'm okay with it is because it's a non-accepted culture. I guess that's okay. Growing popular tobacco. Very nice, very nice. Tobacco popular. Yep, okay. Maguinda now is done. Very good. That means I can colonize a little more. Where am I going to go now? What's my mission? My mission is nothing. Okay. Core that shit. Where am I going to go? Can't reach there. So we can't get to Siberia just yet. We could go for Tasmania. Nope. Don't know about it yet. I could come here to Halmahera, and then we could fabricate on these two dipshits and eat them. But there's no real need to do that. It's kind of like an, it's just not necessary. Hmm, could go for... Oh. If we go for Taiwan, that gives us a point to push into China. There's a bunch of little nations here that we could just eat. Nom nom nom. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. All right. Cores are in. Very good. Pick up these morons. Let's move. Found some naval supplies in Manila. Very nice. Very nice. Rope and wood and stuff like that. Okay, cores are done. That'll lower revolt risk significantly. 
Are you still going to revolt? You sure are. Central Dobe, Kalpi, Kat Katahar, Itawa, and Upper Dobe. All right. All right. All right. This is why I'm not sure if increasing... All right, I'm not increasing. This is why I'm not sure if decreasing autonomy is ever a good idea. Because we did it when we were at plus two stability. We're now at zero stability. And I really don't want to raise the stability. Although, no, I can. I can raise the stability because our um, our coring is done. We're no longer overextended. Okay. Yeah, just dealing with all these rebels, it just feels like a waste of time. Yeah, I mean, it is a waste of time, but it's not. Eh. Lowering autonomy is 30 years of rebels. That's just, it's essentially 30 years of rebels. It's not the end of the world. Okay, max relations with the Auto Turks. What do you guys think? Still neutral. That's the thing. We're so far away from this guy. We're so far away that everything we do is neutral. Super neutral. Alright. Well, we're not under any pressure to peace out of this war. Hmm. Maybe what we do is go siege stuff for my vassal. Let's go siege stuff for Yarkand. You have cores over here, right? Yeah. Let's siege stuff for Yarkand. I'll give him some land. San Francisco Bay? Hey, look! It's That's where I am! Okay, colonists arrive, very good. I forgot to move my troops over. Whoops. And the time's up. Ah, oh, shit, the time's up on this episode already. Already! Time flies. Alright, kick some ass. One of my generals is dead, but it wasn't this one. Good. And it's not my explorer either. Oh, it was my explorer. Alright. So this is scary. My explorer died. And this is so bullshit. My explorer died. So when you're out on an exploration mission, you take zero attrition. Zero. Let me draw that on the camera again. Zero attrition when you're out exploring. However, it still keeps track of how long you've been out at sea. So if we mouse over this, you can see negative, or not negative, plus 22 attrition because we've been out at sea for so long. Time at sea, plus 22. This starts out at zero, and then it goes up for how long you've been out there. So we've been out here exploring for so long that <laughs> the modifier is up to 22. I really feel like it should start at zero when the explorer dies, but it doesn't start at zero. When the explorer is in the Navy, it simply has zero chance to take any attrition. But these calculations are still being done. When the explorer dies, the attrition is just instantly applied. And it's just like, oh, okay, well that navy's dead now. It's dead now, right? So there's no way we're gonna get, we're not gonna make it home. There's just no way. 28 attrition a month, and this will increase. At the end of the month here, it's now 30 attrition a month. I mean, there's just, just delete that navy. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's sad, but there you go. So we got to build some more uh, trade ships, I guess. It's sad, but true. All right, so you're done with that. Let's take you north. Delian Nationalists. You know, you don't really have that much revolt risk. I think I can put you down with just these 14 guys. I think I can. 
But that'll have to wait until the next episode. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. I mean... I don't know why Sin doesn't white peace out yet. He is a very stubborn man to not white peace out. But if he's not going to white peace out, then I'm going to go siege up Afghanistan a little bit. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.